Okay guys, we are back into our model, uh, making sure you've saved it. We're going to start modeling uh, this torch. Um, we're going to do this by using some primitive shapes. So uh, to begin with, I'm just going to focus on the front view. So I'm going to turn off the canvases I don't need. Okay, and make sure I'm working on my model layer. Okay, make sure I got the right side panel on. And front. Okay, so that's what we want to focus on. Uh, now we can lock these by hitting that lock, so we don't actually we can't select them anymore. All right, so I'm on my model layer. I'm going to hit. Uh, I'm going to jump into my front view. Okay. Uh, just want to quickly look at the brief here uh, because we do have some measurements that we need to adhere to. Uh, so let's have a look. All right, so this overall size is 34 wide, 36 high, 110 long. Uh, so we'll just translate that into a rectangular prism. I'm going to start that off at zero. It's going to be 110 wide by uh, 34. So I'm going to hit 34, and 36, enter. Okay, let's turn that to shaded. And you can see now we have a basic volume that's the correct size. Uh, so I'm going to jump into my front view now. I'm just going to move that to the appropriate location. I'm checking here that it's snapped correctly in line with my canvas. Okay, just doing that with grid snaps. And there we go. I'm just going to move that into position. Okay. You'll notice here that we're slightly over our canvas, that's okay. Um, the canvas is sort of just a reference at this point, so um, we know the measurements are correct. Okay, and the last step, we need to move that into position this way. Now we know it's 34 wide, so if I just type move, I'm going to grab this shape, I'm going to type 34 divided by 2, so forward slash 2, uh, holding shift to lock it into straight uh, orientation and I'll hit enter. Okay, now I know I'm exactly halfway. Um, it's a good trick to just type in equations up here. So you can type in plus, minus, divide, multiply. That way you don't have to remember everything all the time. Okay, so I've got our basic shape in the correct position. Uh, next thing we need to do is start moving it so we can get these angles at the front and back. Um, to do that, we need to select our object, go to Solid, Solid Edit Tools, Turn On Points. Okay, You'll notice that all the points now turn on. Uh, I'm going to work exclusively in my front view here, um, making sure to select both of these points, because you know that corner there, we've got one, two points that need to move. To, do, to select them both, I'm just going to lasso over them. you notice they both select. Okay. Now I can move those in with my gumball turned on to the correct position. I'm going to turn off grid snapping here because it won't allow me to be accurate enough. Okay, about there. And the same thing up here. So again, making sure I'm using that lasso. Now you'll notice that we go over our canvas. That's okay because we'll get the correct dimension once we add a radius. Okay, next one is just here. and up here. Okay, now always make sure to check in your perspective view that you've done the right thing. And we can see that we have here. Okay. Uh, once we're done with the edit points, just hit escape and we will, and we'll be able to back into our normal view. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have a look at the top view now. And by turning that on, I just hit the little bulb. Uh, we can see here that our shape is tapering from front to back and there's also a split line just here. Uh, so we're going to add that taper in um, but first we're going to split the object uh, using our boolean operations. Um, so to do that we're going to build a box. Okay, I'm going to rough in this box nice and big. Okay, roughly the right size. Okay, and make it again nice and wide. And the reason I'm doing this is so I know that it cuts through my object completely. 
And what I'm going to do here is just move that into position roughly. Okay. So what we're going to do here is uh, rotate this into position. R O T. Okay. And we can turn this around to the correct angle. Just using my eye here to guess that. Again, move it into position once more. Uh, you can see that we're a bit thick here. So I'm going to go to scale and I'm going to do scale 1D. I'll select it here. Sorry, I'll select it just up here and here. Okay, now you can see that I can scale that thickness and I'm just going to pull it down, turn off object snapping and turn it, pull it down until it's the correct thickness for my torch. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to do a split operation with my Boolean tools. Uh, so I'll just go to here, hit Boolean split. Okay, the surface I want to split is my main surface. I'll hit OK or Enter. And then I want to cut it with this new surface and hit Enter. Okay, uh, I'm going to delete that surface. And you'll notice now that we have one, two, three blocks. Uh, if you look at these, you can see that they are all solid shapes that have been split up. Okay. Uh, so, the next thing we need to do is add that taper on, okay? So, we've got the taper towards the back of our torch. So, I'm going to do that in our top view. I'm going to select this rear portion of our light, of our bike light. I'm going to go to Solid, Solid Edit Tools, and turn on points, okay? Now the points I need to select here are these four. One, two, three, four. I can do that really easily just by lassoing up here. Okay. Now I need to pull these in towards the center so it lines up with this object. Okay, to do that, uh, I'm gonna type scale 1D. Okay, I'll start anywhere along the center line or anywhere along my, um, sorry, anywhere along my uh, x-axis. So just there is fine. Again, I've done that just by grid snapping. I'll draw a vertical line straight up. Again, uh, just holding shift. Okay. Um, and now that I've clicked and released, you can see now that I can um, turn off grid snapping and I can change the shape of this torch. Um, what you notice here is that the canvas itself is actually a bit too wide. Um, we're working off the dimensions of the uh, drawings. So what we want to do here is I'm just going to go to my top canvas. I'm going to unlock that. Okay. Um, I'm going to select it. Okay, making sure I've selected the correct thing. I'm going to type in scale again 1D, do the exact same thing off the center line. Uh, I'll start it from zero. Okay. Cursor straight up and click again. I'm just going to scale that to match my box, the front portion of my box. Um, I'm doing this because uh, the canvas is just out of whack a little bit and I know that now matches my box really nice. Um, I'll lock those again. Okay, so I'm not, not going to touch them. And I'll go back here and scale this again so it's spot on to the canvases. So just starting at zero here. And you can see that I can scale that in. Okay. So we've just about got that overall shape going of our torch body, our bike light. Okay, the next step is to look at the rest of our canvases. And I think if we look at our rear canvas, 
We notice here that we also have a taper going in from top to bottom. So you can see that this area here, I'll just turn off the model for a second so we can see. The body tapers back, so this is that back plane that we've just created that's narrower than the front, and then that shape also tapers in towards the bottom. So what we'll do here is we'll grab our model. We're going to grab these two points down here. One, two. One, and sorry, make sure these canvases are locked. That's why they should always be locked. One, and two, holding shift to select more than one. Uh, we'll go into our right view just here. Again, I'm going to hit scale, 1D. I'm going to start at zero. Again, that's my center line. I'll hold shift to create a straight line. Okay, now we can see the taper that we want, which is just there. Just here. Okay. Now the basic shape of our torch body is complete. Um, hit escape to get out of edit points mode. What we want to do here, I'm just going to select everything. I'm going to go to properties, object, and I'm going to so show surface ISO curves. I'll turn them off, get out of my way. Okay. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to hit save. Make sure you save your work. Um, and the last step we'll go through for now is uh, putting the fillets on. So to do that, I'm just going to go to solid, fillet edge, okay. I think it's a radius of about 3.5. Uh, you can check that on your model itself. Uh, what we'll do here is we'll put, we'll select all these edges by clicking them. Uh, and just to explain uh, what a fillet is, it is a round over on a corner, okay, and we'll notice on our torch body, our bike light, every corner is round. Um, the 3.5 represents the radius of that round over, okay. So I'm going to right click here, I'll press enter, you'll notice that a preview is coming up, I'll hit enter once more, okay, and you can see that we've got a nice rounded over torch. Uh, we can check that accuracy by turning on some of the canvases just to have a look here in front view. And you can see that we're looking pretty good. We're quite close to that original size. Um, again, the canvas is a little off, so I'm happy with that. So there you go. We completed stage one of the torch and we've basically made all of the forms for that body. Um, just remember always start with your largest forms and then start breaking it down into smaller forms like we've done here. Okay, thanks guys.